Hi, my name is Maggie Owens, she, her, hers, and I am a city partner for Boston Air this year. I work at the Boston Parks and Recreation Department as a planner, and I look at some of the larger uh, scale projects and um, park system management. So I ask some of the, the broader questions, what's happening in the park system and where do we want to go? What is our vision for how the park system should function? We have a lot going on at any one moment. And I like to joke that after three years, I've just completed my onboarding because we have a recreation division, we've got maintenance, we've got programming, um, and then we have design construction and we have planning projects. So there's always something to look at and um, you know it all intersects in one way or another. So you'll never, never get bored. I don't think people always know uh, the variety of things that the Parks Department uh, gets up to and the scale of our impact. We're a num number one uh, landowner of pub outdoor public civic space. And so it's beyond um, providing um, you know, just a space to play. It's about providing a site of protest, site of celebration, um, designing and constructing on um, programming things in a way that is consistent with community desires. But we also work really closely with a ton of other departments like the Environment Department or um, the Boston Planning and Development Authority on um, you know, the development going on elsewhere in the city and how to make sure that open space expands with expanding population pressures. And so we're not just about um, maintaining parks but or redesigning parks, but we're also about providing some of those less tangible things and um, an area that we would really like to explore more, you know, all those intangibles. The unit that I'm embedded in, the design and construction unit, um, has the two veins. Um, and I'm in the planning vein, but there's also design and construction vein. And uh, we have a close relationship and feedback into each other. And we both struggle with having um, really inclusive and meaningful community engagement. And we, uh, you know, we conduct tons of community engagement around um, those site-specific design construction projects. You know, your local park is getting a renovation, but then also some of the larger questions about like, how do we manage our trees and you know what do we want our forest to look like how do we want to live with that and uh, for that one i'm working on the urban forest plan and so uh we really want to understand perspectives and how people want to live with parks and how they want to feel when they're in parks and it's not always easy uh to 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 meet everyone where they're at and so we're interested in someone who can help us rethink or redefine our processes around engagement and what it means to incorporate uh, multiple perspectives and how do you show that you've uh, listened to people. Projects that would really benefit from artist-led conversations include like community conversations around reimagining Christopher Columbus Park um, and say indigenous people's influence on the land and stewardship. Uh, we have Mokley Park and uh, that's a massive uh, master plan and design project and a variety of other um, big planning projects like park system expansion. How do we expand the park system? And um, how do we talk to people about that? We're really looking forward to working with an artist because we've seen the amazing things that other folks uh, throughout the city have done um, when they are smart enough to pair up with an artist. So we're trying to be smart here and uh, uh, get a whole different perspective that's hard to get otherwise. And we're open to critique, we're open to new ideas, and uh, you know, someone who can apply their unique lens on it. So thank you for listening, and uh, I hope that you apply, and uh, I hope to be working with an artist soon.